Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the special session for today's meeting for the Board of Supervisors. And any public comment? Seeing none, Madam Clerk. Item one is from Human Resources to adopt a resolution authorizing changes to the crime scene specialist property room specialist job description. Judy Hawkins, Human Resources and Risk Director. Today I'm bringing before you a job description for crime scene specialist, property room specialist. Um, this job description, we are changing the title. The original title was Crime Scene Specialist Property Room Manager. And then we are changing uh, educational requirements. We are expanding out to allow experience, years of experience, uh, instead of just education. So we're, there are uh, several options so that we can expand the applicant pool. There is no fiscal impact since we are not changing the uh, salary for this position. It, it is strictly just uh, requirements and uh, title. So Ms. Hawkins, what you're doing then is you're gonna be providing an in lieu of experience, in lieu of education kind of thing? Yes, so there are several options in there. So you can either meet this requirement or this requirement or this, so that there, so we can expand out to uh, those that have uh, experience, we can get them, or if they have a bachelor's degree in uh, crime scene uh, investigations, then we can, can get those, those people in. Ms. Hawkins, what is the compensation package on this? What's the salary range? Um, I apologize, I did not write that down, but I can look that up for you really quick. Well, maybe Captain Macedo might have that information. doesn't change it, it does not change and um, I have it right here if I Seems to not be on my list. Oh, here we go. Sorry. The um, uh, it starts at twenty dollars and thirty three cents for uh, A step, going to twenty four dollars and seventy two cents for E step. Thank you, Captain Macedo. Jim Macedo, uh, Captain of the Sheriff's Office. I really didn't plan on saying anything. I was just here to answer any questions and support human resources. Uh, I can tell you I did the recruitment for the last position uh, and hire, and uh, it was very successful. We had a fantastic pool of candidates last time uh, that included latent print expert examiners with experience at other agencies. Uh, we did hire a local person this last time, somebody who grew up in Calaveras County, went away, got their education in crime scene investigation, and came back. It was a successful hire. Uh, she's chose to uh, uh, take employment with someone who's paying her a little more money, uh, albeit close by. Uh, but I'm hoping for and anticipating another great pool of candidates. We've already had people express interest in the position that are already familiar with our agency. Um, it's a, an important position. It supports uh, our detective division. Uh, formerly, prior to us creating this position, our, uh, our detectives actually had to go out and do the evidence collection and, and the interviews of witnesses and suspects and victims. So this makes us a lot more efficient, a little more professional and uh, contemporary with, uh, you know, modern crime scene investigations. Captain, one, one quick uh, question. Uh, is there going to be any specialized training for this new position, this new person? Uh, yes, we do put them through uh, both crime scene investigation courses if they don't already have it. Uh, we also put them through property room uh, management uh, or supervision uh, uh, type courses. Some people will have those, uh, and that's included in some of the uh, 
uh, job description uh, uh, requirements. There's some flexibility there. Um, but we also send them to other types of schools, crime scene photography, what have you, if, if they don't already have it. Thank you. Supervisor Germany. Just a quick question, and this is the, uh, I'm still new to the board, so learning this job. Uh, why is the board acting on a job description change? Is that something we're supposed to be doing? I mean, it seems like it it's should good, be. Good it is, um, with job description, it is in the county ordinances that if there are any changes to minimum qualifications, so if that would be education requirements, then it has to be brought before the board. Really, that's our ordinance? Yes. Okay. Any further questions from the board? Can Any? we change that? <laughs> I, I think it's a genuine question, because this does, it's, it is delaying the recruitment. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of trying to improve efficiencies with the board. This is something we should be able to be uh, worked out between department heads with the approval of the CAO's office. Um, can I just add one other thing that I think is important? You'll notice that there's two titles to this. Most agencies have people doing, these are separate jobs, um, in order to try and be efficient. We have combined the two jobs. It is very difficult. Um, we really should have this separated into two positions. Um, I realize that's not what's here for today, but uh, what we're here for, but um, this was something somewhat of a requirement that we had to do this uh, because we couldn't obviously very well abandon the property room management because it's very important. It's a busy place, the business of returning evidence. Uh, but it, it really eventually, if we're going to get the department operating well, at some point we need to separate these out into two positions. Captain, now that you brought that up, that raises another question. I'm sorry. Sorry, and I hesitated to bring it up, but I, I just want the board to understand this is not an ideal situation. We, uh, but I'll take your question. Yeah. How long does the department retain evidence? Um, in cases, well, I'll give you, uh, certain cases we can return it immediately at the scene if we're able to photograph it and the district attorney's office is okay with us photographing it. Um, on death penalty cases, which uh, we have several, uh, we have to retain that evidence throughout the life of the appeal process. So as an example, we still have a large amount of evidence related to the Ng case, uh, Sherman Tyne case. So uh, it's obviously... Uh, important and uh, uh, but it is uh, it is a management issue once those trials are held the initial trials are held is it the responsibility of the department or the district attorney's office to retain that evidence it's the responsibility of the department until which the conviction occurs as I understand it and then after that it becomes the responsibility of the district attorney's office uh, as you all know the district attorney's office here is small in size they do not have their own evidence room and evidence staff, so uh, they utilize the sheriff's office facilities for the storage of uh, uh, nearly all of their evidence. Okay, thank you, Captain. Any further public comment? I'll bring it to the board. Any questions or comments by the board? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion. So moved. Moved by Supervisor Mills. Second. No. Second by? Sure. Supervisor Tofanelli. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed by no. Motion carries 5-0 unanimous. Thank you very much, Captain. Thank you, Ms. Hawkins. Thank you. Uh, with that, we will adjourn.